So today we're going to be rebuilding the Giants and putting Aaron Judge on him. So news broke that he is going to be meeting with the Giants this week. And he is, I don't want to say close to the area. I believe he grew up in Sacramento. Obviously, there's San Francisco's a little bit of ways, but he is from the area. So with that being said, maybe he does want to return home and end his career in California. And that's why we're rebuilding the Giants. All right, so the Giants are currently linked with two big name free agents and Kenley Jansen and Aaron Judge being the big ones. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go after them in free agency. And then I looked at the rest of the team. Brandon Belt's currently a free agent. And there's a couple others sprinkled in that we could probably change up the team a little bit. I do think the team needs to elevate its its roster a little bit. You know, it is an aging squad. Wilmer Flores, you've got Yastrzemski, who's not, I don't, I'm not saying he's old, but you know, he's, he's in his middle-ish 30s, right? Brandon Crawford, you know, Tommy LaStella is still there. Like, it, it needs to get a little bit younger. The pitching staff did also lose Rodon, so they do need to add their bullpen, obviously, need to add as well. They do have Elliot Ramos. They do have Luis Matos. They do have Marco Luciano, as well as Kyle Harrison. So they do have some prospects, but you still need to add, like, a little bit younger MLB quality players. And that's what we're going to do. Yes, Kenley Jansen's a little bit older. Aaron Judge is also 30. But I'm looking to add some players that are, like, at least... You know 30 at the oldest not 32 33 34 things like that so let's let's boost this team up a little bit first base is an area i want to improve muncie's available josh bell is available brandon bell is also available and there's a couple others that i'm looking going you know what they potentially could help us out something about josh bell though i could see him in a giants uniform i'm not saying it seems right but some, something seems like okay i could i could see it happening i could see it happening i don't think there's even a rumor out there that has like linked the two teams together but um we're, we're gonna do it i do need a backup catcher as well so i don't i don't know who i'm gonna get but we're, we're gonna get a backup catcher and then i do need some starting pitching we did lose rodan and i know there are rumors that saying that they are gonna try to get him back but i don't know if he will resign and looking at this we need we need to bolster the the rotation a little bit so i'm looking at oh who do i go here I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by Taiwan Walker. I, I like this. We're gonna we're gonna do a little two year, little club option, not player option. We're gonna do club option. We're gonna bump it up to twenty, and then we're also gonna go after Chris Bassett. Do I need two starters or do I need one? I think I need two because like Cobb, yeah. So I need two. So you know what? Let's just go after the former Mets. We're gonna do one year for Bassett. We're gonna bump this up to like seventeen mil. Hopefully he signs that eighteen mil. I guess that works too. And then bullpen, we'll, we'll, we'll sprinkle in a couple relievers there too. Backup catcher. And then I would like to add a little bit more oomph into the lineup. I feel like we're missing just power. We're really lacking power. So I got to find something there. All right, so Rodon goes to the Dodgers in a, in, in a little unfortunate move, right? We weren't going after him, but Rodon to the Dodgers. All right, so you know what would be even worse if like one of these other players goes to the Dodgers, like a DeGrom or something? But I haven't got a notification for that. So I guess we're not going to have that. So I'm trying to see maybe we can sneak a player here in the rule five draft. But looking at it, not, not really seeing anybody. Sometimes there's a little sneaky pickup that we can get. But I'm not really seeing any of them. So I'm just going to let I'm going to let it go. So we did get we did get all of our my the moves are our targets is what I'm trying to say. We did get them along with a couple like prospects this guy looks decent it's probably only going to be good for like a season but he could be good we also signed a couple others that i'm gonna have to cite uh sort by potential but so far so good like i'm actually liking the moves that we have so i'm looking at this going i don't really want judge and center i'm thinking something like him and right and then elliot ramos can you know move around the outfield as needed we also do have slater we do have yastrzemski we do have jock and Ooh, I signed Josh Bell, and realistically, I probably could have had him play first base. Hmm, a little bit of an oversight on my part. Definitely an oversight on my part, because I'm looking at it go, we could have had him play first, right? And then just kind of find like an okay platoon to face lefties. And then what we do is like have Jack be the, what's it called? Uh, the DH or left fielder. And I was thinking maybe we go crazy and get Joey Gallo because why not right like just get that extra bat but it's not like something that we necessarily need and uh now we actually really don't need them because of the moves that we made i do need a backup catcher though so there's that so i don't really know i guess we could just kind of we'll, we'll pick him up for a year we'll, we'll we'll rock with this boom five mil should get the job done 
I do still need bullpen help just to kind of fill out the team a little bit. And I think that might that might be it. You know, like looking at this team, it looks pretty good. Like I'm even cool going something like this. Austin Slater probably needs to leave and we probably could use an upgrade at center field unless we just want to say Ramos can play center field for us and kind of rock like that, which to be honest, I, I don't hate. I, I kind of like the looks of this team. I feel like this is a pretty competitive team if you look at it. Pitching wise, we've also we've also got our upgrades too. And then definitely need that that bullpen help. But for the most part, I feel like this is a team that can compete. All right, I'm going to pick up Scott Barlow because I do need some bullpen help for sure. I mean, we're, we were pretty low on what we had. So we're going to rock like this. We're going to have Jansen as our closer. And our bullpen actually looks a lot improved. I actually like the names that we have in there. Our long reliever could be a little bit better. But I mean, that rotation looks solid. We did lose a couple players, but it still looks pretty good. And then offensively, I think we, I, oh man, woo, we could, oh, um, we could use like a leadoff guy. We don't necessarily have one, but I, who, who am I replacing here? Maybe JD Davis would be a player that I would look to replace. I, I don't, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Cause like judge is going to go there. We're going to probably go like that. Maybe like Yastrzemski there, kind of something like this. So then, yeah, I feel like JD Davis. But, like, is there a leadoff third baseman? You know, like, who am I going to, who am I looking at of these names that I go, yeah, that's a leadoff guy. You know, I don't, I'm not really seeing one. So, our second baseman also, like, Wilmer, I mean, I can move him to third and I could get a second baseman. That That is also, yeah, that is also definitely something that would work. But, again, who am I looking at? That is going to be a, a leadoff guy for us. I don't think it's going to be Jorge Polanco. I don't think it's ah, Nicky Lopez potentially, but at the same time, no. I think it's going to be Biggio. I don't think it's going to be Brandon Lowe or Lau, I should say. Not Glaber. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not really seeing a, a leadoff guy. I know Colton Wong's been in the news for a potential trade trade piece this offseason. But like, is he the leadoff guy I'm looking for? It doesn't really look at it like it. I don't think Madrigal is at either. Huh. I don't I don't know. I uh, maybe Segura. How, how much like would Segura be a guy I'd be looking to bring in? Based off this year? No. Based off previous years? Yes. I so like I'm I'm kind of torn. I I kind of feel like maybe Segura would be a, an okay pickup. I did say I wanted to get younger and Segura doesn't really fit that. But oh, he's got a 4-year deal. They they re-signed him to a 4-year deal. I'm out on that. Oh, I'm glad I noticed that before I made that trade because that was that would have been terrible. Let's see. Tony Kemp doesn't doesn't really give me an upgrade on what we already have. Altuve. I mean, I feel like Polanco would probably be the best bet, but I don't know if he's I don't think the Twins would trade him. I don't think the Twins would trade this guy ever. But I want to make this work. Does this make sense though? Wilmer would I don't think it really makes sense to do it. I don't think it, like a rise definitely gives us a leadoff guy, but is it worth maybe moving Wilmer goes to the bench and he's like a really good bench bat for us? Is that the move? I, that might be the move. Maybe Wilmer just becomes a really good bench bat for us and we go after a rise. I don't think the twins would trade him or maybe they need to cash in on him while they can, but let's, let's make this deal possible. We're going to give him Listella and we're also going to give them Slater because I currently have him in AAA. And then we're going to go with, let's go with this catcher. And there we go. We have a rise. So after the offseason, we're currently ranked 11th. Again, here's the team. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, what? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So Judge needs to go in right. Center field. I guess I do. I guess we could let Ramos face lefties. And then we currently kind of look like this. But I feel like he should be in the game more. Right? I feel like he should be the DH. But like, Wilmer was was okay last year. Pretty similar numbers. Pretty, like, actually really similar numbers. Very similar numbers. So, I, uh, I, I guess we, I guess we rock like this. I guess we rock like this. This is the team. I don't think, maybe, maybe something like that. Or maybe like, I, I don't really want Bell there. I think, I think like this. I'm, I'm, think, I'm overthinking it. This is the team. Here's the team. There it is. That, that's what we're rocking with. Pitching rotation look like this. Look, look like this. Looks like this. 
There it is. I, I like this team. I think we've actually done fairly well. Budget wise, we we've got a little bit, not much, but for future seasons, if we were to continue, if we don't win a World Series, we have a lot coming off the books. And you're gonna see Jock, Bassett, Crawford, Jansen, Alex Wood, and then you know, Alex Cobb, Wilmer Flores, a couple players on arbitration that we don't necessarily need to bring back. So yes, we did spend a little bit of money this offseason. But moving forward, a lot of these older players' contracts do start to expire, and then we'd really be able to start pushing forward. And I feel like this would be one of those years where it's kind of like a make or break for the Giants, right? Because like if things don't go well, you could definitely kind of move towards a, a retool slash rebuild, right? You don't necessarily need to bring back JD Davis after like with this arbitration. If you're signing Judge, though, I feel like you are still trying to compete. So you go judge, you try to keep Peterson, you try to find that first baseman for the future. You bring in Elliot Ramos, you hope that Luis Matos is ready, you hope that Kyle Harrison's ready, you hope that Marco Luciano's really starting to make strides in those uh, minor leagues. So you have those younger pieces that are also coming up, you spend a little bit of money, and I feel like you, you can just kind of avoid that rebuild stage and really just keep pushing and keep competing. So I did say a retool is possible, but if you spend right and everything goes well, you can kind of avoid that. A shortstop could also be on the cards, though. And I'm not too sure who exactly becomes a free agent at this offseason, but next year. So that, that would be something to look out for, too. I know Marco Luciano is projected to be a shortstop, but I think he fits more at the third base position. So I know I'm rambling right now. I think this is a pretty good team that we've built. Are we going to win a World Series? Let's find out. So 86 and 76, we are a postseason team as a wild card spot or in a wild card spot. So... We are taking on a divisional rival in the Padres, who I think had a good year. I was trying to keep up with everything. And you can see, yeah, three th three West teams made it. And we're ranked 16th right now, so I'm assuming a couple players like may have regressed. But at the same time, some other teams may have just really popped off and gotten a lot better. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see. You can kind of see the playoff picture is pretty standard, right? The Red Sox making it's a little interesting, but um, okay. League leaders just arise with walks. Nothing nothing too crazy. Looking at this, it kind of makes sense. Makes sense. Yandy at the top is a little strange. Same thing with Andrew Vaughn getting close to 200 hits. So it was a little wild. But for the most part, you know what? Okay. Dansby back with the Braves. Makes sense. Uh, and other, other interest. 62 home runs for Tatis. Wow. Okay. Vladdy with 51 on the other side. But good lord. 62? He's got to win MVP. It's not even going to be close. They're like, don't even put these two up there. This guy's clearly going to get the MVP. 62 home runs, 145 RBIs, along with 11 triples and 36 doubles. Like, just a casual season right there. Like, Acuna had a really good year as well. It's just unfortunate that you had this season there too. So, there's that. I mean, his on-base percentage was better than Tatis. I mean, even Soto had a crazy year too. Holy cow. Let's see. What's, what did Vlad do? Like, that looks like nothing compared to the NL side of things. Where the, What are these seasons? Are they juicing balls for, for specific players? I mean, wouldn't put it past the MLB to do something like that. Small conspiracy theory in this video. I definitely think they juiced the balls for Pujols so that he could get that, uh, the home runs this year. I'm not hating on it. Definitely needed the storyline for the for the season, but I definitely think that they did uh, juice the balls for him. Uh, I'm just I'm just saying, I I just feel like that is definitely something that that happened this year. So who do I need to call up? David VR. He needs to be called up. Let me make sure I'm not missing anybody else. Tyro Estrada also needs to be called up. I think that's I think that's it. Yeah, based off that, that's that's good. So we also have an extra pitcher somewhere. Where is it? Marte. And where's the other pitcher? We have, a, we have an extra extra position player, extra pitcher. Who? Maybe, was it VR? No, yeah, I had him up. So who? who's the guy? Maybe it wasn't VR. Maybe I didn't have VR up this year. I could have swore I did, though. It was Gonzalez. I should have had Gonzalez up. But, okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll rock like this. We'll rock like this. And uh, let's take a look at our pitching now. So Cobb was pretty bad. Expected. He went down like, what, four ratings this year? Good Lord. Not great. Don't like that. Don't like that either. But that's great. That's not good. 
not good. Barlow's potential went down. His overall went down. You hate to see it, but he had a decent year. Tyler Rogers, fantastic. And then Kenley Jansen got the job done, but did blow nine saves, but did blow nine saves. Logan Webb, solid. Chris Bassett, love to see it. Not, not fantastic. Same thing with that. And overall, our pitching wasn't great, which makes me want to kind of look and see where we were as a team pitching wise. Let's, let's go take a look and see ERA wise where we sit. And we are 17th. Ooh, not good. Hits allowed. I'm assuming we're towards the bottom then, right? We are 17th. Are we just going to be 17th for everything? Is that is that the yeah 17th or 18th? So yeah, we're towards the bottom. We're bottom half. That's not what you want to see. So offensively, were we just a really good team? Like that's a good year from Elliot Ramos. Did face lefties primarily, but like that, not not a huge fan of that. Not a, no. Backup catcher, okay. Gonzalez, five, 18 at bats. I'll take that. And then Tyro Estrada was meh. All right, arise. 412 on base percentage. That's all I want. He also hit 20 home runs though. Like that's impressive with 100 walks. I'll take that any day of the week. JD Davis. Definitely took a step back, so I probably should have gotten rid of him. But 20 home runs, I guess we can work with that. Judge, fantastic season, 40 home runs. Jack Peterson, pretty decent year. I will 100% take that. Josh Bell, pretty solid season. Wilmer, pretty good year, I would say. Uh, Yastrzemski, not the best, not the best, uh, especially considering he hit 31 right there, and then he just drops down to 13. Brandon Crawford, yikes. And then uh, Joey Bart, yeah, yeah, okay. Interesting. This is going to be a tough one. I have to rely on the offense. Like this this top five, top six-ish, I really need them to do well. That's really all we're going to do. Like we need them to do well to win. Here we go. I don't care about the flying squirrels. Padres, nine to six. That is a big dub, boss man, as they do say. Anyways, let's put, let's go like that. And then we'll we'll go there. So it should be Bassett for this game against the Braves. Did they make any changes to their lineup? Let's go take a look. No. Pitching wise, let's see here. No. Looks like the Braves. Ooh, Jameson Tyone. Okay. This is this is important. We need this first game. We do lose. But we do win the second and the third. Okay. Taking on the Dodgers now. Descalfani is not starting game one. We'll just kind of go like like that is anybody doing poorly not not the best not the best i'm assuming the dodgers made some moves they always do so turner's back they brought in vr offensively they they kind of kept the same team they did bring in grossman perez but what about pitching what are we what are we looking like here i did they did they change anything doesn't doesn't really look like it for once they didn't go too crazy okay here we go we need at least one of these first two Okay. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. So six to five, 11 to 10. I'm going, you know what? All right, decent. And then three, three in a row is not great. But then a 16 to nothing win against Carlos Rodon. That's what I'm talking about. That is, that is how you do it. The fact that his ERA is still 2.12 is a little shocking. Oh, I see why. We didn't score until the seventh inning, and then we just absolutely, oh, well, the first. We scored in the first, and then we just completely blew it open in the seventh. Just absolute domination. Chris Bassett, by the way, shutout. Complete game shutout. So who just fell apart? Vessia. Vessia, actually, like their whole bullpen. Just, wow. Holy cow. Who, who did the damage offensively? The heart of the lineup, Judge, Peterson, Davis, Flores. Okay, love to see it. Love to see it. We are facing the Red Sox. Huh, the Red Sox. Okay, so Logan Webb, we've had a whole week off. So I feel like we can go Bassett, Walker, and then like that. I, I got to see what the Red Sox are doing because they made the postseason for a reason. They did bring in the franchise GOAT, Matt Duffy. We all know about him. Then Verdugo, Dever... Bogarts, Abreu, they did bring in Abreu. I mean, okay, what about pitching? Ah, uh, I mean, like, yes and no. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't know. I feel like the team doesn't look too much different. So, I feel like we should win, right? Here we go, Chris Sale, Logan Webb. 
That's a good start. That's a lovely start. But then we lose the next one. We win it. We're up by three to one. It's time. It's time to close it out. Win it all. Let's rock with the oranges. And at Oracle Park, what a better way to close it out. We'll throw Logan Webb back on the mound once again. And this is our time to shine. We got to absolutely dominate. Just make it not even close. I want another 16 to nothing game. This is a good start. Uh, but then we don't score. Probably should have sacked Clyde, but no. We do. No, no, no. We don't do that here. First and third, once again. Actually, we are going to do that here. And I'm going to take advantage of it. We're going to bring in the run. And it took me two at bats to do that. Little, little upset by that. Where are the fundamentals? Where, where are, you know, the, the, the small ball. <sighs> okay. Okay. Great. Love it. Two to one still. All right. I mean, we're, we're threatening. The thing is like, we're not, we're not getting the runs in. Brandon Crawford. Once again, thank you very much. Tie ball game. Two to two. We can, we like just not let them score anymore. That'd be really appreciated. I also need Aaron judge to do something like he's not really doing much for me. And uh, it's a little disappointing. He's one for three. I need like three for three with three home runs. That's what I'm kind of looking for. All right. We need to make a pitching change. Probably should have done that at the beginning of the inning. And I got a little greedy with it. So that's definitely on me. 100% on me that we're losing right now. But I have faith that we're going to come back. See? See? Fielder's choice. Aaron Judge. This is... If this was ever... If there was ever a moment for you to put... Your name out there in San Francisco glory. It is right here. And he grounds out. All right. Awesome. Love to see it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Barlow, come in. Do the job. Keep us in the game. You allow a run. You allow a run. Beautiful. Just love it. We do have a three to one lead, but I would love to just close it out right here. Double play was big. Runner was thrown out. Okay. The defense keeps us in it. Garrett Whitlock comes in. And okay, I don't really have do I a do I have a shortstop? We do have Estrada. Who is our fastest guy on the bench? 68, 73. Oh, we'll just we'll just put Estrada in right now. All right. Arise. Base knock. That is what you do. That's what you do. Josh Bell. Fielder's choice. Again, it comes down to our big money signing. What? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Are, are you serious? What? Chris Bassett, please win us the game. Close it out for us. Let's do it. You know, I'm not I'm not liking what's going on here. We're just not producing. Brandon Crawford is our offense. Brandon Crawford is our offense right now. He's probably the lowest rated player in the lineup. And he is outshining everybody and anybody right now talk about a legend put his name in the history books build this statue now because he is the reason why we're going to win this world series sack fly i mean look at this guy he is doing everything small ball long ball big dong whatever you want to call it he's doing it he's got it all josh bell adds to the party wilmer flores adds to the party has aaron judge done anything this world series the answer is no and i'm disappointed we spent all that money and he is doing Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, I am getting really greedy with Chris Bassett here. Um, I need to stop. <laughs> um, I'm going to let him face this batter. And I'm going to take him out. I'm going to bring in a lefty. And it didn't work out for us. But that did. Judge. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. Just unbelievable that uh, Aaron Judge does nothing in the postseason. Not a single thing. One run scores and then a field of choice gets us out of it. Here we go. We're still going. Not really, though. We're not really getting much going. We're, we're a little quiet since that big flurry of runs in the fourth and the fifth. I should probably go to my setup guy in Tyler Rogers. The double play was massive there. And Aaron Judge has got one more chance. And he struck out. Awesome. Love to see it. Tyler Rogers close it out for us. Win the World Series. Boom. There we are. Giants back to World Series glory. And we win it. Awards. Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores playoff MVP was Aaron Judge. I don't believe it. I don't. I don't believe it. He did hit a lot of RBIs. Yeah, uh, he he definitely did do something there. But I, what about what about B Craw? What was he up to? He had a good postseason too. Anybody else like not really show up? Just our catcher, Jack, kind of quiet. 
So Judge did everything up until the World Series when it mattered. Like that's that's not what you, you needed to matter the whole postseason. And he just went cold in the World Series. Pitching wise, Logan Webb was really good. Overall, did fairly well as a team. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, like I said, we built a pretty competitive team. I think getting a true leadoff guy was really key on top of having just guys that work well. Like we kind of have a really balanced lineup and I think that's kind of what the Giants do. They don't necessarily look to spend crazy Aaron Judge money, but they kind of just build a really balanced lineup. And I guess if they have the money to splash the cash, why not go get Aaron Judge? So there it is. Aaron Judge with the Giants rebuild. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up down below. Of course, this is a rumor. This is all speculation based on the fact that they are meeting this week, but I thought it was fun. A little bit different than just the typical, this guy signed with this team. We're just doing a rumor. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content. And that's about it. Check out this video. I highly recommend it. I think you'll enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, then go watch a different video on the channel. There's definitely got it. There, there's, there has to be one you'll enjoy. That's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.